Where did Mamale, the name, come from? So it's like a slang term for mother. Okay. And we needed a name that we could trademark, yeah. truly. And so we just spent time being like, okay, like, what does mother mean? Like, that's all women. Everyone's a mother in some capacity, whether they have a baby or not. And so we're just very, like, focused on, yeah, womanhood and fem femininity yeah. and, and stepping into that. So no dudes? No dudes. Wow. Some husbands try to join. We let them, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're pretty pretty female focused. Okay. I, I like that because, like, you're not trying to serve everybody in business, yep. right? So it's so common to want to be like, well, we want to serve everybody and we, yep. we don't want to miss out on people. <laughs> yes. And it's like, that just kills you. I think it's one of the biggest business mistakes people yeah. make. And I remember when we were creating the app, I'm like, well, if we make it pink, then yeah. men can't join. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I didn't do that. Yeah. Have you heard of Sheehan's wall? Uh, I know the, the name. analogy. Yeah. yeah. So it's you just can't like, get through the wall, yeah, like, if there's focus, a wall, yeah. like you have to like focus and then after you yeah. can expand. Is that Rory Vaden, I think yeah. It's Rory Vaden. Yeah. 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 Vaden. yeah. And so yeah. I'd like love that analogy. It's like, yeah. if you're doing something, get so niche. Yep. Like the person I create content for you is me. Like yeah. the, you're perfectly positioned to serve the person you used to yes. be, love you know? And so it's like, yeah, that's who I'm making content for is the person looking in the mirror. They just had a baby. They're 24 years old and yep. they're like, what am I going to do? How am I going to find myself? Mm. And that's, that's who I make content for. Like, and I love that very idea. Very specific. Like, you have an avatar. Like this is yes, who the person is. You have to do that. Yeah. You know, when we started the Better Life Tribe here about a year ago, I did. Like I've even I've taught this stuff for years, and I still yeah. didn't quite do it. I'm like, I wanted to make this Better Life Tribe for everybody. Yeah. Like men, women, <laughs> yeah. old, young, kids, real estate, yeah. not kids. <laughs> who cares? And because the stuff applies to everybody, yes. goal setting and habits and routines applies to everybody. But what I've realized is it's a lot harder to sell that. And I read uh, Alex Hermosi's hundred million dollar offers. Yes. Right. In that yes. book, he's like. He made such a great point. He said, if I were to come to you and say, hi, I'm a business coach. I can help you. I'd be like, okay, you know, maybe it's worth a hundred dollars to me, a hundred dollars an hour. If he was like, hey, I'm a business coach who helps real estate investors. I'd be like, okay, well maybe that's worth a 500 an hour. He's like, I'm a business coach who helps real estate investors who are syndicating large apartment complexes. Well, now it's worth like $10,000. Totally. An hour. I'm a real estate, I'm a, I'm a consultant who helps real estate investors who are syndicating get, raise more capital by using their Instagram influence to raise more money. Yep. Now it's $100,000 an yep. hour, right? It, but the point he makes it so good is it's the exact same advice for all four of those categories. Yes. The advice doesn't change. The Better Life Tribe methodology, the Mamale Tribe, it doesn't change. Like, totally. It works for everybody. Yes. It's the targeting because yep. otherwise people are like, well, that's not for me. Yep. So the more totally. specific you can get. Absolutely. Get yeah. so specific. Yeah. Yep. You and, can expand later. Yeah. And so that, yeah, just anybody who's maybe thinking about, I want to start an online business or any kind of business. Is that, is that the first approach? Like, who do I want to serve? Who yeah. can I go? Who do I want to serve? And can you say what you do in a sentence? Ooh, yeah. Like that's the biggest thing. I'm always like, I help women, yeah. you know, change their lives through fitness and health. Like that's yeah. what I do. And if you can't say what you do in a sentence, yeah. you're not specific enough. I, I had the same thing. I didn't have a sentence for uh, Better Life Tribe, but just in the past few weeks, I st I, I've been saying over and over and over, and I'm liking it. I'm curious your thoughts. You can critique me on it. But it's, I help people build wealth without losing their soul. I love that. So it's like, that's I, good. it's not necessarily just real estate, though. It yeah. Is the key, I might throw in real estate in there, but the, without losing your soul, totally kind of harkens to like, oh, this then is I'm not like, just real estate. Yes. Like, and fulfillment. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Like, yeah. it's not just about more money, more money, yeah. more money. So I love that. that. In the beginning, yes. it was, we help everybody have a better yeah. life <laughs> and it was just it's a little too wide yeah. so i think that one's better yeah some people listening might be like well you're wait, you're not going to teach other stuff but it's, it's again you can use the philosophy yes. for anything like yep. somebody listening you know wanting to go to you might be a 60 year old woman totally and we have those yeah yep. and applies. they might be 18 and no kids yep. but it's like it still applies to them yeah 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 i love it beautiful uh all right another thing you mentioned that i think i just want to point out here uh, you said you don't have to have millions of followers or even tens of thousands of followers. There's a great, have you ever heard of the um, Thousand True Fans uh, blog article from like a decade, Ooh, probably two decades ago? I think All I right. have. So this is, was game changing for me, but it also was game changing for Tim Ferriss. He, uh, he mentioned it mm. in one of his books that this was like one of the most important blog posts he ever read. Like Kevin Kelly, I think is the guy who wrote it, who was a writer for, I don't know, Wired Magazine maybe. But he basically said this, you don't need to have a million followers in the world. He was talking about bands, like musician, like bands. He's like, yeah. if you had a thousand true fans, a thousand people who would pay for whatever it is you put out there. They go to your concerts, they go to whatever, or you're an artist and they pay to go to your show. A thousand people giving you a hundred dollars a year is a hundred thousand dollars. Totally. And it just, when you look at the internet and you're like, wait, if I just had a thousand yes. true fans, like they're actual fans of mine, I can make a six figure income. Totally. Yeah, blew my mind, blew Tim Ferriss's mind. And the same thing is true for you. Like it yep. just, it works. You I feel like it's million. like we, we short ourselves. It's like the same thing. Like, well, oh, I'm not going to go to that fitness class till I'm more fit. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's like the same <laughs> thing. It's like, well, wait, like, uh -huh. oh, I'm not going to actually do something till I have more followers. It's like, do you yeah. realize that like, 
that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to start putting an effort now in order to get there. Yeah. And like, what better way to get fit than just to go to the fitness class? Yep. Like, okay, you're the worst one. Fine. You know, like you're going to feel like the worst one at some point and yep. you just got to know that. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I had a guy one time, uh, it met me at, um, uh, he ran into me at Costco and he said, you know, hey, I heard you in jujitsu. He recognized me from Bigger Pockets, and he goes, "Hey, I heard you in jujitsu." And I'm like, "Yeah, I just started." And he goes, "Oh, so what belt are you then?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm just a white belt." And he goes, "Hey, you're not just a white belt. Yes, like white belt is the hardest belt. Yep, because like nobody I love gets that. it. Ninety percent of people I never love get the that. white belt. Like, like now, business is easy, yeah. right? I mean, yep. there's still things, but like it's easier one hundred percent because you're in. Because I'm like, yep, I'm yep. in. Like yep. the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. We're good. The yeah. hardest is the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and most people never start. And that actually leads me to the other thing I want to pull out here that I love that, about your story, and I think applies to a lot of people. You. You got started and then you did that 30 day challenge mm -hmm. and that made you 15 grand. The 15 grand is irrelevant to the long you know, grand yes. scheme of things. What it gave you was like from a psychology standpoint is positive reinforcement. Yes. It said this works. Mm -hmm. So how many people out there have an idea? I want to build an app. I want to build a business. I'm going to do real estate. And they spend a year, two years thinking about it and planning. Yes. No positive reinforcement. <laughs> yes. Nothing changes. Yes. Uh, and so like just the fact that you got some money coming in. One of our yep. friends, uh, Cameron uh, Cathcart, yeah. just launched a like a beta version of a real estate training thing. And he just put it on an Instagram story and got 30 people signed up for this so thing. So cool. And like all of a sudden he has a six-figure business. Yes. And it, he has no product yet. I mean, he's yeah. just going to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with these people for a while to figure out the product. Yep what they want, what they need, and then he'll build a massive successfully product around it. Totally. He'll be richer than all of us because he's just like, yeah. he's good. Uh, I don't know, Brody's really good too. <laughs> you know? uh, so I just love that idea of like, just get some dollars yes. in the door and then you figure it out. Yes, just, I love like the statement, like decision paralysis kills. Yeah. And I like truly believe that in every area of life. It's like a lack of making a decision will hurt you way more so than more. making a decision. And guess what? Like you either make a decision and you're like, well, I learned from that one mm -hmm. or you don't learn or you move forward and it's great. But like you'll never be able to move forward in life until you're willing to just like make decisions. And that's something that you just have to learn. It's like I'm either if people just talk about it, it's like one of my biggest pet peeves. I literally can't handle it. I'm like, OK, but like, are you going to do it? Yeah. You know, because like you can talk about something all you want. You can say that one day you're going to do this. And I think it's good to have goals and aspirations. But like to change your life or to start a business or to do anything like it starts today, truly. And yeah. if you don't believe that, that the small decisions you're making today have an impact on tomorrow, then like that's a big mindset work piece that needs to be done there. Because like today's the greatest indicator of tomorrow. Mm. Absolutely. And yesterday is the greatest indicator of the next day. That's you so know, good. so it's like decision paralysis kills. A decision is better than no decision any day. Oh, beautiful. All right. So let's say somebody wants to get into the internet uh, marketing business of some kind. They want to build a business online. Mm -hmm. So what's the first, like, what's the step-by-step -step process to do so to start making, uh, you know, real income, six figures yeah. Uh, yeah. from online? Yeah. I think, like, obviously you need to create an avatar. You need to have, like, some goal or some place you're trying to go, kind of what we were saying with Cam. But I think being very careful of how specific you're getting with what exactly that thing is that you're selling maybe, mm -hmm. because your audience will tell you what they want. Yeah, That's what yeah. I always tell people. I'm like, start sharing, start posting. Like everything that you're charging for should be available on your platform just in an unorganized manner mm. and you're the one that's giving it to them in an organized manner you know like you can find a million workouts on my page sweet yeah, yeah. but like what's going to help you following them the on plan, my app yeah. right like a plan and so i think starting with that i think showing up every day one like also truly caring being like okay i am here to provide a service and being willing to understand that like in the beginning more has to be given i truly believe that like you got to be ready to grind a little yeah. bit, you know, and be like, okay, like I, I want this. This is my vision. And then making sure that you have a pathway to make money. Because yeah. I think a lot of people are like, well, this is a great idea. And it's like, that's great. Like, cool. Ideas don't get you anywhere. Yeah. And also, how is that going to be lucrative? How are you going to keep moving forward with that? Like, is it something that can keep growing and evergreen? Like, how do you see yourself exiting from that? And I think like with Mobile, in some ways, when I tell the story, it's like, oh, I just happened into it, you know? But I spent like a year and a half before I ever launched anything, just like creating content and being there for people. And then after I did launch, I was there, you know, and I was grinding and I was showing up in every way. And so I think not overselling, having a plan, showing up every day and making sure that you're providing what, what people need and what people are asking for and ask them what they want and be OK with like understanding that what you think people need may not be what they need. Yeah. Like create for what they're telling you.